New York and on the new Hot 97 app. Ebro in the morning. On Hot 97. It was a festive sports weekend in the city. Mm -hmm. Uh, Where should we begin? The Giants have a new quarterback. The Giants are not 0-3. Where do you want to begin? Yeah, the Giants got a win yesterday. Daniel Jones, the new quarterback. The kid's good. Um, That's exciting. People are excited to see that the kid's good. He had a comeback down 18 points, rallied them all the way back to a victory. But Saquon Barkley was badly hurt yesterday. How bad? Um, I'm checking right now. It's only sprain? Yo, I said yesterday, I hope it's a sprain. And then he came out in the boot, and I was like, oh, it's worse than a sprain. And they're saying sprain. Let's go with that for now because it looked really bad. Uh, He couldn't walk off the field on his own power and came out wearing a boot. I don't remember the last time I saw that, and then it just turned out it was a sprain where he's out like a week. It was a high ankle sprain. He does have the strongest legs in the history of the world. So, I mean, the man has tree trunks for legs. So there is the possibility that that saved him. But, yeah, it was cool, man. I mean, Giants fans. And the Giants defense is Giants defense. I mean. How many points went up? I don't know how Janoris Jenkins. I love Jack Rabbit. I don't know how he leaves the house today. I do not know how he leaves the house today. It was was celebration on Janoris' head yesterday. I mean, th- their defense was horrible. And they Again. and and Jameis Winston, who's not good, has not been good this year, moved the ball up and down the field and at the end of the game got them to the ten yard line. They set up for a field goal and missed the field goal that would have beaten the Giants. The Giants basically well, the, the Bucks basically lost the game. Do you say you, the Giants didn't win that game? Well, yeah, we're gonna have to change that though and make the headline now. Everything is like Daniel Jones had the miracle come back and let's celebrate it oh, all. Oh, we're gonna remix it. Because he did come back and score, and he ran it in himself. He rushed for two touchdowns. I think Eli rushed for seven touchdowns in his entire career. Daniel Jones ran for two yesterday. So people are going to be excited. But, yeah, they still they got the game handed to them also. But let people have their moment, man. Can people have fun? Do the Jets play football in this town? Yo, the Jets were so bad yesterday, man. Are did they the, playing football? Maybe yeah. they're playing another sport. Maybe they're playing lacrosse. They played the Patriots. Now, I don't think their offense played yesterday, but their defense and special teams each scored. Okay. So they only lost 30 to 14. <laughs> oh, man. Because their offense did not do anything. Anything. Laura's trying to, like a six-year-old, she acting like DJ John right now, trying to show me something while I'm talking. She's flashing me a picture of uh, Antonio Brown made up as Takashi 6 9 It's a picture <laughs> that Shannon Sharp tweeted, and he called him Clowntonio 6 9 out here dry snitching on everyone. No, that wasn't dry snitching. That was just him. He's talking about the fact that Antonio Brown <laughs> yesterday posted a picture of Shannon Sharp and said, look at Mr. Happy on TV, but then attached a story about when he was also charged with assaulting a woman and intimidating her. Is that dry snitching? I guess that's dry snitching. I can't tell between I wet and dry. I don't know the difference. That's just dry telling. Snitching. You're telling. <laughs> you're bringing up somebody else's stuff when you're going through your own stuff. As What are you talking about? That's the appropriate way to say it because it's not snitching. It already happened. It's in, it's in the newspaper. But it is you just bringing up someone else's And the other stuff. part that people always miss or don't comprehend, I don't get it, is that when you have an incident in your personal life, but everything else has been great and stellar and people want to figure out how to work with you, Oftentimes, you can keep your job, right? Because it's like, yo, we really like this guy. He we hasn't had many problems, and now there's a problem. Let's figure out how to work through it. If you've always been a problem, and people hate your guts, no matter how talented you are, people will work with you, okay? Because they have to, because you're talented. And as soon as they don't have to anymore, guess what? They're kicking dirt on your grave. And, and by the way, it's the exact opposite when you're a really good person. There are really good people out there who you're like, yo, why is that person still on so-and-so, man? They like him, her. They want that person to be there. They'll give them an opportunity forever just because, like, everyone loves working with that person, you know? And it's the exact opposite. You can be so talented, but when you're that trash as a person... They want you out of here. They'll deal with you for the short time. Yo, I was so mad that Antonio Brown was posting all those Nipsey Hussle quotes on Friday. I was like, please stop speaking the, 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 the words of a family man who loved his wife and kid with this as you're b- treating himself like he was a martyr when you just got fired because you were intimidating a woman and sending her pictures of her kids. Like, and now you're trying to bring up the conjure up the image of Nipsey Hustle. The, the marathon continues. No, what you're doing, getting losing your job because well, you you're an know, a-hole. Antonio Brown Nipsey. didn't know when to shut up, though, because remember. When this whole thing came out and he was going to the Patriots, we talked about whether or not he should be playing, where this was really going, and people suspected because him and the trainer 
had a relationship that maybe there was some gray area yes. here. Let's see where this goes. Yes, he was getting a little bit of a pass. And got to play still. Yes. Mm -hmm. And then you want to go start texting people and talking about their children with someone who wasn't even pressing charges against you. No, she was just interviewed and said that you, when she was painting a picture of you, you walked around naked except covering yourself with a washcloth. Well, you wanted her to get a better look. So, hey, just so you know, dude, that <sighs> just so you know, if you just walk up to a woman unannounced naked... That's that's assault right there. She probably could have pressed charges on you just off top just from that. It's not Maybe, a good idea. It's not either way, idea. you're just a creep. Yeah, you can't just unsheat the Valerian steel. No. Without, no. You know what I mean? You're, you gotta ask for permission. You're a take that thing out of his holster. Disgusting. <laughs> ask for permission. She's no. hired to do a job at your house. Maybe there was a miscommunication on the job. Maybe she's she painting. She has a thing of paints. She's sitting there painting. Yeah, but and him. you walk up. It was painting him. Was he coming out the shower? No. no. Y'all want to make y'all want to make light of it, but that yeah, is he's just a creep. That's being a terrible. I'm not person. making light of it. I'm saying you're not supposed to un 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 holster you know, the weapon. You know. You know better. You're not supposed to. You know better. Take it a step further. If that's Keep even the gun in the holster. Yeah, man. If that, I'll keep it real. If that's even on your mind is something you would consider doing. Your level of therapy you need to get to it's right a, away high, man. is super high level. Like <laughs> I don't know. I see a woman there. I just got to show her my joint. Like I, okay, that's a really. Are you four? I don't even understand how your brain's working. Well, no, but I'm saying she was in his house painting a picture of him. That was the job. If he, if it was a nude photo, I don't think we'd be having this well, conversation. Well, that's what I'm saying. Right? He needed to communicate. Maybe that's what he wanted. And she was like, no, nah, I was just doing your, your neck up, my G. And he uh, just walked downstairs. But by the way, this lady was not pressing charges. No, that's what, she wasn't. This is the same lady, right, had later after she told her story of what happened to her, not pressing charges. Then he, in that group text, yeah. decides to threaten her children. And that's why he got the boot off the Patriots. And so threaten her children. Like, I know where your kids go to school, blah, 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 blah. Using a text, a group text with the same number that he used business to hire her in the first place. Wait, she wasn't pressing charges? No. 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 He texted her, I know where your kids go to school. And no, then no, no, she no, was like, no, no, yo. No, time out, my words. G. Now I'm going to the cops. No, no. You... For the record, let me clear this up because Laura went a, a okay. little too far. Okay, yeah, not, not those exact words. She, he, she te he texted a picture of her kids and said to the other people in the group chat, those are her kids. Look, she awful broke. So, yes, he wasn't saying I'm going to hurt your children, but you're snapping you pictures do of children and sending them to strangers right. on a group text with her. Right. That's a threat. It's on site. Right. Yes! That's it now at that point. So you were fine. He could have stayed on the team the rest of the year and while they investigated this. Right. And now you're acting like a martyr and you want to say the marathon continues? Right. You're an a-hole, bro. And you may have CTE, but guess what? So does half the NFL. Get out of here. I'm sorry. Mental, they can't use mental health. And they can. Right? By the way, he has mental health problems, for sure. People want to show the hit that he took from Vontez Perfect. He, they, all of his problems supposedly started after he took this terrible hit from yep. Vontez Perfect many years ago. That may be true, and that's really sad. But a lot of other players in the league running around here had tons of concussions. Well, it's not going to excuse you and keep you employed. It may not in land you in jail, but it may it won't keep you employed at this point. I think that's what people are glossing over. Like when you have this level of potential brain damage and the behavior to go along with it, you become uh, damaged goods. And I get why players. Um, feel like just, you know, uh, a workhorse or a piece of property because you are uh, goods and goods on shelf, they have a shelf life and things expire and it's painful yeah, and, but, I, and but, but, I get but you, it. But you're expiring yourself. Right, because, no of, because of whatever mental health problems he's going through. If you're saying that's a potential one of it, maybe that's it. But there's also the emotional filters, which we see with mental health problems, that emotional filter of understanding like, yeah, no, this league really doesn't care about you or your well-being and you're trying to protect yourself. They don't care. You're acting crazy. They want you up out of here. Yeah, but in this case, I just think that's a hard we've, example. And how many times have we seen that? But we've seen it. It's so much more suited to talk about with someone who loses their ability and gets ushered out of the league. This is someone who's at the prime of their ability, the prime income. He has the ability to earn so much money. But your behavior and is you're, detrimental. So, like, this isn't even about them not caring about you. In fact, the Patriots tried to give you another chance. They were like, hey, we believe you can win. Just come here, be good, make your money. And you couldn't do that. You still were a jackass. So what are you supposed to do? And every time I talk about this, he still has millions of people who support him and defend him and think everything's cool. Yeah, it was a lot of a lot of popular people have that. And we've seen, I mean, look, we could bring this over to Kanye West's behavior. And his 
admitted mental health problems. We've talked about Michael Jackson and his mental potential mental health problems. They have millions of fans. And people are blinded by the talent. And not able to be like, yo, this dude's amazing. Amazing. This person's amazing. That doesn't mean that people want them around, though. 